Hey YT, what's going on? It's Miss Pat. Welcome back. This video is going to show a few of my simple color lip glosses as well as some of my top lipsticks at the beauty supply store and some of these are going to be great for the fall because as you know the dark bold lip is one of the hottest trends for this fall so i've already been picking up some lipsticks getting ready because i love a dark lip i love a dark lip more than i love a new lip or a pink lip dark lips are number one with me i am so bold with them that i will actually walk around with black lipstick on so and i keep looking over there in the mirror but anyway so this is going to showcase some of my beauty supply store lippies. So, and as you know, beauty supply store, all these lippies are $1.99. The lip glosses were $1.99. The lipsticks were all $0.99. Cents, so very inexpensive. And um, you can pick up tons of them. Don't get me wrong. I am a lipstick junkie. And I love to pick up MAC lipsticks for $14.50. But a lot of the times, I end up duping those with beauty supply store lipsticks that... For some reason, I just grab more often than I do the MAC lipsticks. So, let's get started with the simple color lippies so that this won't be too long. I think I have nine shades here. This is not all the lip glosses that they have, but I have about nine of them. And I'm going to show you each one. That's about nine shades of them. These are at $1.99 at my um, beauty supply store. And I've seen them for like $1.49 and stuff like that. So very inexpensive. The pigmentation on these are great. They do have great color payoffs. The downside to them is they do have a smell. They have a, a, a really, really loud scent to them that will wear away after you had it on your lips for a minute it'll wear away and these are also great to top lipsticks with because they're not super super shiny nor are they really sticky so they're great to put on top of a lipstick that's what I mainly use them for I don't use them alone I always top my lipsticks with them if I want to give my lipsticks just a little more sheen so the first one is going to be lilac frost and I hope the colors are picking up pretty good. And that's what it looks like. It's a, a lilac color with some silver and purple reflex go in it. And we're going to try swatching. You know, lip glosses are hard to do swatches on. So I'm going to do two at a time. The next one is also a purplish color. And it's called Breathless. It is a dark plum color. And it has some light pink reflex in, them, in it. So let's see if you guys can see those two. That's Lilac Frost. And I have a swatch on my hand that's been there from something else. But that's Lilac Frost on the bottom. And the other one was um, Breathless at the top. So see they have very, very good color payoffs. Very, very pretty glosses. The next one too is going to be sultry flame and fuchsia but this is sultry flame a nice pretty berry color with some pearl some pink pearl reflexes in it and then of course a bright fuchsia color very very pretty colors sultry flame looks wonderful on top of a rose color lipstick now this fuchsia is bold enough to actually work by itself with like a very pretty plum liner. And those, that's Sultry Flame and that's fuchsia. Very, very gorgeous colors. The next two is going to be another purple color which is just lilac and icy. Now this is lilac, a lighter purple color with silver reflexes in it, and this is icy, which is a muted type of, I don't even know how to explain this, it's a gray with silver reflexes in it, but it looks great. This is very pretty on top of a dark lipstick, and this is, get these swatched, I should have had them swatched already so this video won't be long. And icy. 
I love Icy. It looks better on the lips than it does in a swatch. I put it on top of brown, on top of a nude lip. It is very pretty. But there's lilac and there's Icy. Two very pretty colors as well. And you can see they all have like different pearlized reflexes in them. They're not super, super shiny, but they give just enough sheen to your lips. And I like them. I just, the only thing I have wrong with them is the smell. Um, and the next two is going to be blushing, which is also like a pretty rose color with pink and gold reflexes in it. And it is gorgeous. And then there is tempting, which is a nudish brown color. And this one is so light, it might not swatch good. Blushing is absolutely gorgeous. It looks beautiful on top of Max Mocha lipstick. And they have the doll foot applicators to them. They're not a brush applicator. And this is blushing on top. And then the next one was, um, what was the name of that one? Tempting. On the bottom right there. Tempting is a very pretty nude color. And that looks great with a chestnut or a dark brown liner. Then we have the last two, which is seashell. Which, of course, is this very, very light off-white with pink, silver, and gold reflexes in it that's absolutely gorgeous on top of just about any lipstick. And then we have this very, very dark, vampy-looking, very charmed lip gloss, which is a very, very dark purple color. Going to be great for the fall. This, uh, um, um seashell is one of my favorite ones out of all of these I love the pink reflexes that it has in it and how it just looks gorgeous on top of purple lipsticks it looks gorgeous on top of pink lipsticks and then this uh, berry color is going to be one of my faves this fall I love dark lips y'all and berry is like the perfect dark lip you can just do this by itself but there's seashell and berry see how rich berry is it's a very rich dark plum color but those are the last two of the swatches from the simple colors collection very very inexpensive very pigmented only downside to them is that they have a slight odor to them that will go away after they've been on the lips for a minute and it doesn't leave that nasty taste up in your mouth but you can smell it for a minute now we're going to go on to some cute lippies and these are wild and crazy lipsticks as well as I think a Nika K and Ruby Kiss lipstick. So the ones that I'm going to start with was going to be the ones that's great for the fall. This Deep Plum by Ruby Kiss and that's what swatch of that very very pretty plum lipstick very pigmented very smooth and creamy i like kiss lipsticks because they don't feather on your lip and sink into your the lines of your lips um the next one is also a ruby kiss lipstick and this is from their little 99 cent line the color design line and this one is just plain black diamond very if you bold there you go but if not, you can always put a little bit of black diamond on your lips, blend it in really good, and go on top of it with a very rich berry color, burgundy color lipstick to get a nice bold look. But there is black diamond. And I think a black lipstick for this spa will be great to have in your collection. To just kind of work around and play with the lippies you already have. This next one that's great for fall is from Nika K. And it's just a plain and simple burgundy. But it's very gorgeous. It reminds me of, I want to say it's almost like Max. It's not as plum as Rebel. What is the one that it's not Riveting Rose? It's almost a, a mix. It's a, it's a 
it's, it doesn't have the undertones that Rebel has, but it's a very, very close dupe to me. And that's the burgundy. It might be another lipstick by MAC that I'm trying to think of the name of. That is, this is a very close dupe. Very pretty. Great for the fall. Next, we're going to go to two of my favorite lipsticks. And they're from um, uh, Wild and Crazy. And they're purple. And one is called Royal. And that's what it looks like. Very dark purple. And the next one is called Rocking Hill. And that's also a purple, but it has a different, like a silver, grayish reflexes in it. Very gorgeous purples, y'all. If you love purple lips, this is great for 99 cents. Probably one or two of the most perfect purples that I have ever seen. Only for a dollar. And Rockin' Hill is on the bottom and Royal is on the top. So that's Rockin' Hill. Almost like... That's a gorgeous purple, ladies. That's a gorgeous, gorgeous purple. And then raw on the top is a little deeper. But very, very beautiful. And then if you take this, I'm going all somewhere else. But this is the Lilac Lip Gloss. And I love it on top of Rockin' Heel. It kind of mutes it down a little bit, but it, it, it's gorgeous on the lips. So I put a little bit of that on the lips. And that is perfect together. So the next ones are also by Wild and Crazy. And this one, I cannot say the name of this, Dominique. And I don't know if my camera is going to pick that up. But it is C57. And it's a pinkish color. Blue undertones. Gorgeous. And that's what it looks like right there very pigmented lipsticks and the next one is called pinky rule which is also of course a pinky one but it has light it's a light pink it almost has like a silverish look to it like a silver frosted color i don't know i ain't describing it right but that's what it looks like and that's pinky rule which is also very very gorgeous and the last but not least is the letto which is like a pink rose color and it is also a frosted looking type of lipstick and that's it on the bottom but these are wonderful they're moisturizing they stay on your lips a long time and they're great for a dollar one dollar so those are some of my favorite beauty supply store lippies um, I have tons and tons more of lipsticks that come from the beauty supply store you have to check those out because you never know where you'll find a favorite lipstick at so thank you for watching my video it's always i really appreciate you and go out and get your lips ready for the fall and i'll talk to you in the next video